is exciting. We're here at, at TaylorMade headquarters, here in the workshop of Liam McDougall, who's going to explain the inside of a, a TaylorMade M1 driver. Okay, so as we explained to you earlier, what these ribs are is called dead right. So these basically manage sound. So when we say this is best in class sound, it's something that the R&D guys are passionate about. They've worked very hard on the inside structure of the, the M1 and the M2. Also, in the face here, you can see our inverted cord technology. Um, so basically, the wee pin in the middle is where your, your maximum hot speed will come from. On the outer circle is an inverted cone technology. Now, you'll lose 0.5 mm ball speed when you do hit this outer circle. If you put the T-track all the way back, it will improve the MOI by 200 points. So it will go to 4,400 MOI points. And it will make that hitting area a lot bigger than in the past. So you've got a driver that can you can dial in for personalization. And then it's got the forgiveness factor as well. So, so is that why you see um, some of the guys on tour when you see their shots on the, on the screen that they put the, this T track further back in the head? Is that why the majority Yeah, it's of giving them a bigger hit in area for managing ball speed in, in terms of misses. So the, the weight we're talking about here, guys, is this weight here. It's called the T track, is that right? Yeah. And it, most, most of the guys, me personally, I'll put it further back in the head and it just increases what we call the MOI, which basically makes the driver easier to hit. So there you go. Uh, anything else, Liam? It will increase launch about one degree as well and increase spin 300 RPM. It's just a, it's just a Never It gets better and better. <laughs>
and they're glued on and they're put on this carousel here where it takes about um, an hour to dry. Um, from there we go and put the grips on, to your left here. Once the tape goes on, this guy's lubricating the tape and then um, sliding the grip on, making sure they're all the correct length. He's done that before. And then from there they're cleaned over in this station here. Uh, the girls are cleaning them, making sure the sets are all, uh, all nice and ready for the customer. And finally they go across to this stage here where they're boxed, checked, signed off, ready to be taken uh, by UBS, UPS straight to Winchester Golf Academy. So that's how you that's how your sets are uh, yeah, getting made, exactly. custom made. Yeah. How many um, how many sets do you go through a day from start to finish? So from this average from this first stage, average fridge kind of we, if, if we were building a varies. set for a customer, it would probably we would normally say forty five minutes if we were on the road building them. Um, to come and collect them and then the blue we'd say from the next day it's okay to hit hit that. Okay. So how many sets can you get through a day from here? How many, uh, an average, an average on, on club cups, right? around 500. Yeah. Wow, 500 sets a day, that's, that's uh, not sets. Not sets, single. 500 clubs. Oh, 500 single sets, still pressing. No, 500 clubs. Yeah. 500 single sets, clubs. 500 clubs. 5,000 clubs. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. What was your score? 85. Yeah, close. Right, guys, we've had a great day here at the TaylorMade headquarters. Thanks to all the guys that have helped. Uh, thanks to TaylorMade, Adidas and, and Tom who have invited us here today. Uh, in store most of the bits you've seen today. So next time you come along, have a check. Have a check to see what the staff are wearing on their shoes, on their tops, on their legs. It's all in stock. See you soon. Right, so we're in the workshop. <laughs> right, this is exciting. We're in the workshop here at TaylorMade headquarters. We're here with Professor Liam McDougall. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> it would be funny. <laughs> you can't mix it in. You can't say that. <laughs>